When I say force, you know. Big strength is not an advantage. It's just not a fair fight. No, it really isn't, Roger. <laughs> you got the artist and the engineer. Woods on the tee at 16, trying to drive the green. He is aimed right at the green. No draw here. Going to hit it right over the people's head. Well, 320 yards to the front edge. Look at this. Unbelievable. What did I tell you? Unbelievable. There has not been a single player in the field in three days that has carried the ball on the green. 297 to the hole. Not quite 280 to the front. Well, we're going to find out. The overcut. This ball headed at the center of the green. Oh! <laughs> That's a long carry there with a the three -way. Oh, man. Didn't even watch it. It's not the amazing thing. It looked like he was happy. Exactly. I thought he felt like he mishit it a little bit by his reaction. Two thirteen, huh, Bill? Two thirteen, and I want you to check this one out. Six iron. Oh goodness! I saw him take a deep breath. Well, this is some guts right here. Uh oh! That looked like it might have went right. This is right on line. Oh, what a <laughs> shot! Does it get any better than this, guys? At the short par four seventh. Three thirty six to the hole today. Oh, how about that? Man, he asked for it to do something good. Like, great, look at that shot. <laughs> Just carried the bunker. He'll have that for Eagle. What a tee shot that was. 202 yards to the hole. I think he could probably get a seven or eight iron on it. He may get it all the way up there. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> strength is not an advantage. It's just not a fair fight. No, it really isn't, Roger. <laughs> I mean, that is phenomenal. Right at the right edge of the green. Good aggressive pass at it. Yeah, he threw it on. And Tiger Woods will have an eagle putt at 14. On the par 5, 6th. And going with driver, and he's trying to really give this a rip to get there, and he Come just on, went That's deep all on I that. Got, but. Oh, he mashed it, Lanny. That was from 292. What a golf shot, right front portion of the green. Yeah. Bogey at 14, set to attack the par 5 16. He's going for the green in two. It's up in the air. Is it going to carry? Oh, that's a glorious shot from there. Oh, that was right at it. You can tell when he twirls that club that he likes it. Oh. <laughs> Just right of the hole. This is nuked. Oh. <laughs> this is the way Tiger's played it so far. First round, fantastic shot. Only trouble is, the group in front hadn't vacated the green. 267 left of the hole. The hole cut on 46 paces from the front of the green. Now that the hole is dog leg to the left, now the wind's from the right and helping here. Very, very dangerous shot. He got away with a pole here yesterday. Well, this is no danger of missing left. Oh. Yes, it did, Roger. This is unbelievable. This is by far the best second shot I've seen here today. Incredible. I'll tell you a story. I probably you probably can't use this. The uh, 
the last hole at uh, at Firestone, I'm walking down with Ernie Els, who's a friend of mine, and Tiger has popped up his tee shot with a three wood down the left hand side, and he's in very thick rough. And uh, we walk past his ball, Ernie looks at, whew, not good, and wait. Kenny says, well, what's he got? He's got 190 yards, Kenny from a sand wedge lie, two big red oaks overhanging the front of the green. The biggest swing that he could make, I don't think he can get it close to the front edge of this green. And uh, I get a sign from Stevie Williams, wedge, that's what I'd expect. He takes a swing, one of those ones where his right leg comes up off the ground and, you know, he's off walking after it. It's like a cubic yard of Ohio flies out, goes about 50 yards up the fairway, and the ball is in the air. I'm thinking, oh, no, he did it again. The ball, you know, it's just going straight at the flag. Most extraordinary shot. And I'm thinking, oh, now what am I going to say? You know, that wasn't meant to happen. And I open my microphone just as Ernie, who's standing right beside me, looks at me and says, <laughs> and I look at him, and he looks at the microphone, and he goes, I go, so I just close it, and my producer says, was that Ernie else? I said, yes, it was. <laughs> There's not much more you can say about that. <laughs> you know.